What's up guys? Welcome back to another video here on Muddy Beards 4x4. Today we're going to be starting on the automatic transmission swap in my 1997 Jeep Wrangler TJ, so stick around. Okay guys, this video we're gonna cover three different things. The first thing is why I'm actually going to do this transmission swap, why I personally am going to switch to the automatic transmission. Two, we are going to go over all of the parts that I have that I ordered and in everything that you're gonna need in order to do the manual transmission to automatic transmission swap. Three, we are going to rebuild the transmission that I have and we're going to install a shift kit. So I've had this Jeep for almost 10 years and I've been very happy with the manual transmission. I've had no issues with it. It works great. The thing that opened my eyes was King of the Hambers 2019. I went down to Southern California, Johnson Valley and took this thing on real rocks, real rock crawling for the first time and boy did I struggle. I had a really hard time, especially with the manual transmission, but that's me, not knowing how to drive it, not used to very difficult technical rocks. So after that trip, I was addicted to rocks. I loved it. I was tired of going through mud holes and just doing muddy trails. Those are definitely fun, fun days, but the technical rock crawling thing really called to me and I really wanted to set my Jeep up more for that uh, kind of four wheeling. So uh, in order to do that, I actually put on a throttle control on my shift lever, which made a huge difference. Took me a while to learn how to use it. If you were running a manual transmission, I would definitely use that. It is a huge upgrade and it really helped me out a lot. Some of the other advantages of having an automatic transmission is your drivetrain is always going to be loaded up. That's one thing that I'm very excited about is having everything loaded up all the time. You just have your foot on the brake, give it a little throttle, get it into the torque converter, and load everything up and just go up something. Woo! That smells like organic clutch. Circa 2016? <laughs> nice earthy notes. It's a good year. It's a good year of clutch. The transmission that I chose for my project is a 32RH or a Chrysler Torque Flight A999 out of a 94 Jeep Wrangler YJ. This is a three speed transmission no torque converter clutch lockup in this particular one. Some of the later ones actually do have a torque converter uh, clutch lockup, but this particular one does not have that. You do have to be careful because the four cylinder models have the 30RH or the Torque Flight 904 transmission. You do not want that one. A lot of the internal pieces are not the same, so you have to get the one out of the four liter. I got this particular transmission off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. I found it for $100. It was the complete transmission with a torque converter. And before I actually decided to use this particular transmission, I tore the whole transmission down, inspected every part of it before I even ordered any parts and decided if this was a good candidate to actually rebuild and use in this project. I'm gonna start off with the valve body and doing the Transgo TF3 shift kit. Now this is the kit that is gonna make this transmission a full manual. It will not shift on its own at all without me actually physically putting it into any of the gears. I did this uh, because of simplicity. I don't wanna to have to change out the PCM on my computer on my Jeep in order to change it to a, a, a automatic one. And I don't wanna deal with any electronics. It's just gonna be full hydraulic, put it in first gear and it stays in first gear, end of story. This is gonna require some parts replacement, some drilling, some filing, some modification. Uh, so let's get to it.
Well, that's gonna wrap up most of this shift kit. The rest of it is involving uh, adjusting the bands, which I don't have anything inside of here yet, so can't do that yet. And accumulator pistons, uh, servos, things like that. Uh, but I have upgraded ones. These I have billet aluminum pieces that I'm gonna be installing into this. So I'm gonna have to build these, do a little bit of modification uh, on this pin here. Uh, so let's start doing that and then start putting everything back together. As I'm doing this, I see a problem. Luckily, I bought a new one of these. The return spring for this clutch pack is totally broken. So let's go over some of the upgraded parts that I'm putting in this before we continue on. So this is a billet accumulator. This is the one that came with it, came out of the transmission. It's plastic and it has uh, one seal on the top and the bottom. So this is the billet accumulator and it has two seals on each side, the top and bottom. So it has four seals total and it is much stronger uh, than the factory one. So that's one of the upgrades I'm putting on the inside of this. And the second one is the uh, reverse servo plug and piston. This is also both billet aluminum. I have already assembled the whole thing. This was the old one right here. And it is very light in cast aluminum. And one of the main problems with this one here is even in the shift kit uh, that I got, the Transgo TF3, it tells you to modify this right here. This groove that goes inside the transmission actually gets caught up and it gets kind of cocked sideways in the case of the transmission causing your reverse servo, your reverse band to either uh, slip, not totally lock up, or uh, the opposite. You know, it has issues in this, so I bought all the pieces to replace it when I ordered my rebuild kit. And this reverse servo piston, this piece that goes in the center that actually pushes down on it, uh, I actually had to cut off a nub on the top because this works on many different transmissions. And uh, for this particular application of mine, you have to cut this little nub off the top for it to operate correctly as the original one. And also with this shift kit, it comes with a new spring for the uh, servo uh, that is much stiffer. This one is the original one. I can squeeze it fairly easily. And this is the uh, replacement one. And it is uh, much harder uh, resistance on it. So that's gonna be here, here, and then this snaps in to the case just like that. Now I have all the seals all prepped and on these servos and pistons, we can start installing these, building up the case, putting in the bands, and installing everything up all the way to the pump. Now with this transmission fully rebuilt, put back together, I am checking the input shaft in play, verifying that is within specification according to the manual, which it is. 
I'm also going to note that I did work for General Motors for about six years. I did rebuild transmissions. I went to tech school. I have my master technician certification from GM and many ASC certifications from about 10 years ago. So it has been, like I said, about 10 years since I had cracked a transmission open. But just be aware of that when watching this, that this rebuild transmission thing is not for everyone. If you stuck around this far and you're interested in the parts list, that is what I'm gonna do right now. So let's get started. So this is my Summit Racing shopping cart. We got low profile torque converter bolts, transmission temperature gauge, a transmission kick down cable or TV cable. I went ahead and bought a off-road transmission pan. It's a deep pan. You're gonna want that as well. Transfer case extension seal. This is one of the things that uh, all the forums say that you need in order to do the swap. So I went ahead and bought one. And of course my Transgo Performance TF3 Shift Kit. You can get a TF1 or a TF2, depending on uh, what you want to do with your transmission. So for my rebuild kit and my upgraded parts that I'm putting in it, I went with Oregon Performance Transmission. Uh, there's two options for the rebuild kit. There's the Master Overhaul Kit, 100 starts at 116 bucks, and uh, the Master Banner Overhaul Kit for 205. So I went with the more expensive one and I'll tell you why it has the Raybestos HP friction clutch, clutch disc those are stage one clutches has the uh, new Alto black Keylone steel plates has Kevlar intermediate kickdown bands in my application I have a 92 to 99 Added a reverse band, yes, I want a new reverse band. Mine is a two inch double wrap. So this is one of the things that you look out for for a A904 or a 30RH. It's gonna have the smaller solid band, which you don't want. Shift correction kit, this is gonna be, you can get the Transgo here, right here, same price, but I did it on my Summit Racing order. I did buy new thrust washers. I didn't do a full bushing set. Overrun Sprag, I didn't do that. Lower re reverse servo. I did that. I did the Sonax Billet Low Reverse Servo. Intermediate Accumulator. Yes, I did that. Valve Body Detent Repair Kit. Yes, I did that. Reverse Servo Plug. I did that. And Assembly Lube, Cooler Flush. You can actually buy the Rebuild Manual right here for $27.99. Uh, so that's a good option if you want that as well. So this forward diagram spring right here, as you'll find out later in this video, that was broken in the transmission, so I'm glad that I bought that because uh, I definitely needed it. So uh, with all those upgraded parts, it was 377 So I went ahead and just bought a new torque converter as well while I was there. I don't trust that old torque converter that came with the transmission. I don't know the condition of it. I don't want to do this full rebuild with all this high-speed stuff in it and put it back in there in a torque converter be garbage. I definitely would recommend running at a minimum a transmission cooler and I'm going to go the next step and actually run a cooler with a fan. You're also going to need a brake pedal from an automatic transmission and the automatic transmission mount with the exhaust hanger built into it. I was unable to find a decent priced shifter for the stock one. I, the cheapest whole setup with everything was at least $150 and I could get the Winters shifter setup which is a really nice aftermarket setup for about $250 so I went ahead and bought that. Okay guys we are all done with this video. In the next video we're going to be removing the old transmission, installing the new one and hopefully getting it all together uh, for, take, for a test rip. I don't know we'll see how it goes in the next week or two on the build process. If you guys like the videos we're doing here on Muddy Beards 4x4, make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and make sure you subscribe to our channel if you are not already. We have a website, muddybeards4x4.com. You can buy shirts, stickers, all kinds of stuff there, and support us by buying stuff through our Amazon link, also on our website. And if you want to follow us on social media, we are at Muddy Beards 4x4. And until next time, we'll see you on the trail.